Hello, welcome to this week's video. We're looking at Google Slides and Google Sites. So we're looking at creating a banner image that moves and circulates on a website. So first thing we're going to do is going to create that banner in Google Slides. So we start by going up and creating our new Google Slides. Then we go File, down to Page Setup and then if we go to custom dimensions I prefer pixels because we're working with the web and I would suggest 1100 pixels by 190 pixels so that will give you the size for a good banner having done that you can then start to add your designs so where I've done this is I've inserted shapes so we can go up to insert and we can choose a shape uh, and I've gone for a diagonal image. Now the whole of the slide will only see part of this, it will only see this bit, so it doesn't matter that overlaps. And then you can add your text uh, and maybe an icon. So here's one I've done already. And then having created one, you can then just duplicate as you go along. So we'll move on to this one. In addition to adding your text, it's always good to add an icon. So I found an icon, I can insert that. So we go up to insert image, upload from computer in the case of this one, and open, and I can add that image in there. So I'm using a P PNG with a transparent background. I've got my notification and I could change that. And then I think what makes it look really nice is if, if the text on the slides are animated. So we're going to add a, select the text and then add an animation obviously after previous fade in and let's go we'll fade in we'll fly on from the left and for the icon we select it we click add and we're going to do fly in from the bottom again uh, after previous and then the other thing you can do we'll close that is you can also look to change the transitions so we go to change transition and we can see uh, sliding from the right or we're happy with that we can have reasonably fast apply to all slides and we have a quick play and preview that happy with that we then to add it to our website We've got a number of ways of doing it, but the way I'd, I'd suggest doing it is we go to File and then down to Publish to Web and choose the Embed link. Now I've already published this, but we want to check that Slideshow starts and plays after that. So it's going to start as soon as it plays and it's going to restart after it finishes and then we can choose how often. If there's a lot of text and I'd, I would advise against it, then I'd obviously choose a slightly longer time and then you'd hit publishing. So I'm just going to stop publishing initially and I'm going to republish. So I want it every five seconds. I want this to start as soon as possible. I want the size that I've determined and I hit start publishing. Okay. I can then copy that link. Uh, so Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC and I can go across to my Google site. So all we do is we click on the embed link, we click the embed code, and we paste that in, and we click next. It'll give us a preview. We can click insert, and then we can just really nicely, we can drag that up to hide the black box so we can't see that it's a presentation, and then we can drag out the width of it so it, we get the width that we're after. So there we have it. We can see our animation and our banner scrolls through. So the next one should come up now. So obviously I've got a duplicate on the slide. And then here comes the next one. So you get the idea and you could add links to this. I think it's a great way to make your Google Slides look really professional. Really straightforward and easy way. 
I found from experimenting that if you use the embed code, it allows you to drag the, the window up and hide the navigation, the black Google Slides navigation bar. If you just go insert Google Drive and choose your presentation, it doesn't allow you to do that. So I'd much, uh, I think it's much easier to use the embed code and then it allows you to cover the banner. So they have a really professional looking banner. You could obviously add links to this so students could click. A great way to keep your students up to date with what's happening, uh, prompting them with notifications. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please remember to share it, like it, and subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.